My journey starts in 1988, a Pacific Island girl in the land of Aotearoa. My mother is a strong Tongan woman and my father a hard-working Samoan man. By the age of 21, I was married to the love of my life and we had two adventurous boys. At this stage of my life, I was living in a small unit in South Auckland. And as a young mother, I felt like my opportunities to have a career no longer existed. Society was quick to label me as another statistic. But rather than accept and wallow in my less than ideal situation, I felt motivated to make a change. With the little budget I had, I began to renovate my small unit. I was a newbie to the whole idea of fixing and creating at this scale. I was accepted into a carpentry course and over the span of a year learnt basic construction skills. I have to say, being the only female in class full of males took a little getting used to. I remember the first few weeks of class, the guys would offer to hammer nails for me, you know, lift things and so on. And then we started getting results back for practical and theory work. And I would get higher marks than some of the guys and that didn't sit too well with them. I started to dream. And it was at this time in my life, I decided to pursue a career in civil engineering. My aspirations set high, I enrolled in a New Zealand diploma in engineering. My two years of study opened up a world of opportunity for me. At the end of my diploma, I was picked up by Hawkins and offered a full-time job as a site engineer. I couldn't believe it. I'm actually doing it. That spark, that small spark, is now turning into a flame. Little did my parents know that leaving their home to seek out a better quality of life is my main drive as an engineer to provide that same quality of life to others. And now I'm part of a team involved in incredible and diverse projects across the country. As an engineer, we have a social obligation to serve the world we live in. Everything that we design or make is for the user. Engineers are the unseen people who make the world. We are creative thinkers problem solvers, and the need for our profession has never been greater. My dream has become a reality, where I have the power to make a difference to the world that I live in, and that in itself motivates me every day to press on and aspire for a better future. My name is Safwa Rimuni. Help me make the world. <laughs>